Well, struggle bus for real. This is take three because the first time I recorded this video, I accidentally had my phone on a time lapse and that looked like this. Second time I recorded this video, I had the wrong aspect ratio, so I had about this much framed and that looks like this. But here we go again, round two. And here we go, third time's a charm. So welcome back. My name is Matthew Pawan, and in this video, I'm going to show you the fundamentals of a double time beat. Double time! We're going to build upon skills from our last video. So in the first video, I showed you about the emphasis on 4-1. And what makes this a double time beat is we're going to take that same emphasis and fit double the pattern in the same amount of space. So instead of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, it'll be and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. So let's get started with the left hand, the low end. You'll be playing on the and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. Let's take it nice and slow, and that'll sound something like this. Two, three, four, and one, two, and 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 with the high end on this pattern, we're going to be playing in 16th notes. So that's like one E and a, two E and a. So for this, we'll be playing on the... And that'll sound like one and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one. One, two, three and four and one and a two. And three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one and a two and and a four and one and a two and three four and one. So let's put the two together. Three and four. Practice that nice and slow, get it really ingrained in your muscle memory, and then eventually you'll be able to work up the tempo and get it up to a double time speed. So we've been playing at 60 beats per minute, and let's jump it up to 120 beats per minute, minute just so you can hear what it will sound like. One, two, three, four. 